Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'll be reading is poem 1176, and this is called Tired of Being Stupid. I think that sometimes it's hard for us to admit that we were taken in by someone's actions. We want to believe what we want to believe. Maybe they're nice, or they mean well, or that people don't know their whole story. We want to have blind faith that they're not playing us, that they're good parents. Or you can trust so-and-so with this or that. This poem was written from all these perspectives because I just didn't want to limit to love or family or even friendship. In the end, they're not who you think they are and you have to let it sink in. And you feel so stupid for being taken for a fool and for wasting time. Tired of being stupid. I've given you way too many reasons to act the way you do. I've made excuses for you to my other friends, my family, to people on the street, and anyone else who knows the real you. You see, I really convinced myself and tried to show them that maybe you were just hurt, that they were rushing into judgment, that if they just took a walk in your shoes, or perhaps it was me for being so loud, for being a bitch, that one time you always had this thing, sort of like mind manipulation, to make anyone feel like they're wrong. At the end, I'm frustrated, screaming on the floor, trying to find an explanation in the middle of all the mess. But really, I was too naive. I was blinded by our history, by the way you said you loved me, or the strong bond, or even by the way you said he hurt you. When I turned to look into those puppy eyes, I fell right into your trap. I bought into that story. I bought into your lies. I bought into the pity. Well, now I'm so tired. Tired of being tired. Tired of being a scheme to your twisted game, tired of being the wrong one, tired of being nice, tired of being stupid. So you can take all those stories, your love, our friendship, whatever we had, and shove them up your ass. There's the door. I've given you way too many reasons to act like a complete fool. I was so loyal. I stuck by even when you said awful things to others. I even tried to tell you to play nice. But it's like this venom has snuck into your skin, destroying anything good. All you want to do is be bitter. I don't know why I was thinking that maybe with time you would change. That you would see that not every day's weather cast has gray clouds. We can't change people. Actually, scratch that out. We can't save people. As much as we want to, they are going to be who they are. And if they are not happy, they are going to try to do everything in their power to make everyone else around them feel their pain. I feel for you. I really do. I see where this is going. I'm not sinking into the abyss. So I'm getting on the nearest raft and paddling my happy ass to safety. I was blinded by our promises, by the way you whispered you love me, or the strong bond of friendship, or even by the way you said he broke your heart. When I glanced into those lost eyes, I fell right into your maze. I bought into your product. I bought into your truth, I bought into your deception, your mask had fallen, and I see the true colors, and now I'm done, no longer tired of being tired, no longer tired of being your, a part of your scheme to your twisted game, no longer tired of being the wrong one, no longer tired of being nice, no longer tired of being stupid.